Hey, it's James with Make It Happen Greenhouse, and um, look at the sky. It's a rainy Saturday. Got a few breaks in the clouds, but it's been pretty wet. So a great day to get in the garage and slash workshop and work on some uh, projects. And today I'm working on some things for the apiary. And uh, here's what I'll say about beekeeping is I'm finding out going into my second month of this that it is much woodworking as it is beekeeping. So at first you, you know, buy complete hives. In my case, I got one as a Christmas gift. So it sat in the house for quite a while until spring arrived. Um, you know, I bought, bought some more boxes after that and realized this is kind of expensive. So I uh, started accumulating quite a bit of stuff and then realized gee, this isn't going to work long term. So um, bought some high box components from Man Lake along with some frame components also from Man Lake and building those. And then in addition to this, I'm just figuring out how to create some stuff on my own. So I wanted to give you a couple of examples of that. And first thing I'll talk about is the inner cover. One of the harder things to build, I think. And so I've been experimenting with some different designs and came up with one that I, I, I'm gonna test this season. We'll see if it works. Um, but you know, here's a 20 plus dollar inner cover. You know, very, you know, pretty nice woodwork working on this. The, you know, the uh, piece of wood sits in the middle here. So you have, you know, a little gap for the bees to run around on top of this or under it. Uh, along with the escape over there and then obviously the hole in the middle and you know nice uh, dog ear or jointed joints here on the end so uh, I just thought to myself well for 20 bucks can I can I do this any less expensive so went to Ro Lowe's and was poking around a bit and came up with um, some of this kind of uh, handling here which I believe is, is identical, or pretty close to identical to what the Man Lake folks are using to make theirs. And uh, then uh, just found some little wooden square dowels and came up with this. So it's not, certainly not as pretty. And I don't have all the equipment, uh, but I think this will work. So, you know, I, what I did is I just put the dowels right over the wood. Got some pretty small nails to punch through there. Since this is an inner cover, it shouldn't take a beating from the weather. So hopefully that'll be good. Uh, my cuts weren't great, uh, so I had to do some sanding just to, to even that out. So, you know, there's an opportunity for this to maybe weather a bit if it does get exposed to some moisture. Uh, we'll see if it handles the heat and all that, but I'm just going to cut out a handhold there and uh, just wove in a bee escape. So basically these dowels are a buck fifty each and you know you need one for the top and the bottom all the way around and they were three foot for a dollar fifty. So basically one, two, three, four, six of these worked because uh, you cut them to size on the long side, and that's four, and then you end up with excess pieces that, uh, actually, I only needed four, not six. You need to end up with excess pieces that fit the short side as well as you know, where the actual escape is. So uh, let me just hold that. So again, not a bad job for first try. And total cost, this is $4.50 for the wood, uh, the, the plywood there, the skin, really thin plywood. And then each dowel at four at a buck fifty each is six, so 16, I'm sorry, $11 about with tax. And um, I get a little bit of discount at Lowe's, so, uh, and I'm sure if I shopped around, maybe I could get it even less expensive. But so anyway, about 10, just over $10, again, not counting labor. To build this yourself versus probably what's a much much nicer one and may last a little longer because of you know the way they joint the wood on the end and stuff but um 
you know, I can do two of these for the price of one of those. And you know, if we're gonna go go big, then then do it. Um, second thing I wanted to show you is, you know, I've bought a couple queens now and had to release them. And you know, the normal method for this is to you, you would have a little attachment, either uh, you know, like a piece of metal that would attach to this little cage here and you you know attach it to a fr frame or sit it on top of frames people do it different ways you know the only thing you don't want to do is do this because you know they come with attendant bees and if one dies it can get stuck in the hole as they chew through that sugar plug uh, but anyway i thought well uh, is there a better way to do this because uh, you know you, you're going through there you're doing hive inspections and this thing's just sitting in there and you know, it could come loose and you maybe have to use a thumbtack or a staple or something to hold it in place. Uh, so I just worried about this kind of jostling around and falling. So um, I saw online a picture of a, of a queen jail, I guess is what it's called, and said, well, that's not, that doesn't look like it would be that hard to make. So, and I have these Man Lake frames I need to build. So here's what I came up with, with um, some spare wood and that man lake frame so basically just build a little box in the center of your frame cut the you know the foundation to fit which I did and um, I'll put I have some eighth of an inch um, screen you know metal wire mesh coming that I'll put over top of this so when I get the you know the queen from wherever I get them just uh, you know pop the cork carefully don't let her out and then uh, just uh, slide this open and I just took um, a piece of fish line on a screw here and just the tiniest little nail and tied that to that so there'd be a cork in there but basically you could just you know hold this over this until she drops out and into her jail and you know, then just, uh, you know, put your finger over it, put the cork in place, like so. Huh. Put the cork back in place, like so. And uh, the nail actually makes it fit nice and snug. I used um, a couple different hole sizes here. Hopefully this is coming through. And then uh, this is just a piece of uh, flashing I had laying around from some other project. Um, I think these are just like uh, 25 cents, maybe less, actually. Um, I just cut out a piece of flashing. And uh, yeah, it's also got some sharp edges. You do want to be careful, but nothing too bad. So, uh, and there you go. So you leave her in there for how many ever days you need to do that. And then when you're ready to release her, just, you know, slide it open, pull the cork out. And she can crawl on out and do her business and um, then you can just you know either leave this in uh, maybe close it back up for the next queen so that they don't go in here and build anything um, and then but you do you you could have a foundation or a frame of um, comb maybe you know there's I don't know they could just start laying right on this if they wanted to so anyway just thought that was a, a fun little project it took me about an hour you know to do it the first time I think if I did it again it'll take less um, one of the concerns I have is how you know this is even with the top bar all the way around so will there be enough of a gap for the, the bees to get in there I think so because they build this comb out that far so it should be okay um, but there you go so I, I guess my whole point of showing you this today on a rainy day is that um, get creative and see what you can come up with yourself and uh, you might surprise yourself so um, there you have it and I think I've, I saw these maybe it was Etsy um, but it seemed like these frames were 20 bucks for somebody to build them and they were really nice obviously much nicer than what I'm doing but again you know you have frames laying around just you know make an adjustment and there you go so Anyway, hope you're having a great weekend, and I'll get back to my projects here.